Welcome to the second video. By this point, you should have installed MainStage on your Mac. Before we get started, I want to say that if you run into any issues, either during this video or in a future video, please check the troubleshooting area on this webpage. I've put together solutions to common issues, so if you run into any hurdles, give that area a look. Okay, let's dive in. We need to install Key Studio. After you purchased Key Studio, you should have downloaded the zip file to your Mac. By default, it should have downloaded to your downloads folder. If for some reason you did not download Key Studio, check your email for a download link. You may need to check your spam and junk folder if you can't find that email, or you can head back to our website, log into your account, and then download it from there. Locate the Key Studio zip file you downloaded. As a side note, if the file is not zipped, that's totally fine. Just skip this next step. If the file is zipped, right click on it and choose Open with Archive Utility. After the file unzips, and that may take a moment, double click the Key Studio installer file to start the installer. Next, navigate through the installer. It may take a few minutes to complete, so if you need to pause this video, do so now. Okay, let's go ahead and open the Key Studio main stage concert file. You can find this by choosing File, New Finder window, and then navigate to the Music folder. I highly recommend dragging and dropping the main stage folder to your favorites pane to make this directory easy to access in the future. Open the main stage folder, then the Key Studio folder. But be careful not to open the Key Studio patch browser folder. Instead, make sure to choose the Key Studio folder that represents the version you installed. In my case here, it's the Pro version. Double click the Key Studio concert file to open it. As a side note, if for some reason you have another MainStage concert file already open, MainStage will ask you if you'd like to close that concert file first before opening a new one. Choose yes. Also, if this is your first time opening MainStage, it will need to download the Essential Sound Library. So pause this video and resume when it has finished. After the Key Studio concert file opens, click on MainStage in the menu bar and navigate to Sound Library, Download All Available Sounds. This may take quite a bit of time, depending on your internet speed. So make sure your Mac is plugged into power and then take a quick break. Pause this video, grab some lunch, and come back when it has finished. After all the sounds have downloaded, confirm that they have all installed successfully by opening the Key Studio concert file if it's not already open. Then click on Main Stage in the menu bar and navigate to Sound Library, Open Sound Library Manager. Make sure that all sound packages say installed in their status area, or if one or more did not install, click the Select All Uninstalled button and then click the Install button. Once everything has installed and you've verified that, you are finished with this video, and I'll see you in the next one.